Hello and welcome to my video. Today I will use this aluminum foil that used to be a beverage can and I'm going to make some um, vintage um, RVs or you know teardrop camper um, decoration with it and then I will mount it on some wood so that's the plan. I made a rough sketch, not very pretty, but just gives you an idea. And now we're gonna cut this out and use it as a template for my metal. Not sure if I use a shiny side or the dull. Um, yeah, so I got my, my scribing tools here. And um, we've got my co-pilot here as well, who's sleeping. And then we're good to go. So here we are, <clears throat> cut out. And there's the other one. And I decided to have the dull side up. Which means I cut out my template on the dull side. And then scribe on the shiny side. Because this can take some ink, some alcohol ink for example. And I want to color some parts of the, the camper then. Hello, so welcome back. Well, we'll be doing uh, my third design, which is this RV, <coughs> classic RV. And here's my can, and I should not be doing this on video, but oh, I give it a try. So I kind of like, I scored at the bottom, and if the blood flows, ooh, just look away. Okay, and then I oh there's one, so I just go into the crack and start cutting, and you've seen that other people how other people do it as well. So just be careful, don't cut yourself on the metal. It's not a job for kids. This is just adults only, I would say. And if you're clumsy like myself. That's no guarantee that you don't hurt yourself. Okay, got one done. And then I pick my spot where I go up. There we go. And I should use a bigger scissors for that. I lost all my scissors. I don't know where they went to. It's just like terrible. There we go. Just rinse this out, uh, so give it a wipe and then clean up the edges. Actually, no ink on those it's just the foil with the print it was easy taking this off but I don't know <clears throat> you just work with what you have okay just wanna wipe this a little bit all right there we are and I just roll it from the opposite side you can iron it apparently all kinds of tricks or put it in the oven but this is actually quite some sturdy aluminum. So, it's for my purposes, it works okay if I just roll it the other way. There you go. Okay. So, next step. Oh, just not. I have to do this way.
Okay. I actually want. Yeah, I will do that on a shiny side because I want the duller side so I can take some paint, some ink. And if you make a little mistake, it's no big deal because you can work it afterwards. Just get your rough bearings here. There you go. And now the rest is in where you have to have a steady hand. My little lights up there. <clears throat> Trying to do the door. There you go. Hint. No window. put some <laughs> a plant a box there <laughs> you can do what you like but I like to do the flowers I think the flowers come out very nicely in this technique you do what you like something like this and then Could have went up there. And all of this gets worked and reworked. Slides. No, my wheels. Something like that. So I worked all the lines from, which will be my show side here, um, and the, the shiny side is where I, my back side basically. So now what do I want to stick out? I want the tires of course to stick out. So I start working on those first, just keep embossing. caps and of course you know that needs to be worked from the other side as well
Let me find it here. There you go. 